What's cracking guys? Omar Esop here. In this video today, what are we talking about? 3D delts, baby. 3D deltoids, and if a natural athlete can obtain them. I know there's been, you know, quite a few videos where clearly those that use performance enhancing drugs due to the androgen receptors and the traps and the deltoids, that area, those areas will tend to be a lot larger. Ergo, for a natural athlete, we can't obtain that 3D look. And so people question, you know, how big really can you build your traps? How big can you build your deltoids? Should you even do isolation work? And I'm not gonna turn this video into one of those kind of depressing, yeah, well, it's better if you take drugs. What I am going to say is that I feel everyone can build impressive deltoids and traps. Now, the results, the ultimate results will be different, but the big thing holding everyone back once again is time and effort. You know, you got a lot of guys that will do a one year program, maybe like a six week bodybuilding split in addition to, you know, doing some powerlifting and they're not satisfied with the size of their deltoids. It takes a long time. It's a small, these are some small ass muscles, man. Look how small they are. Look how, well, I mean, they're not that small. They're pretty small. No, uh, okay, whatever, okay. Point being that when it comes to the traps, when it comes to the deltoid, much like any other muscle group, it takes time. And you can't suddenly build ginormous traps and deltoids without building everything else. You gotta integrate, right? You gotta, well, I mean, calves, calves, calves are calves excluded. <laughs> but everything else comes with time, and you're not gonna build them if you don't work on them. And we've, t you know, obviously compound movements, I've said before that your upper traps get a lot of stimulation, right? From the deadlift to the overhead press, even to doing other exercises to try and stabilize the actual shoulder joint, like let's say rowing, high rowing, will even target them. So upper traps get their work, but what about your side deltoid? What about your rear deltoid? Well, the biggest mistake I see from a lot of people is simply not doing any isolation work for your side delt or for your rear deltoid. Think about it like this, right? You get all kinds of stimulation for your anterior deltoid, right? You're bench pressing, you're doing the overhead press, it gets a lot of love. I'm stimulating it right now. How, how often, by holding that camera, how often <laughs> do you get that side delt, right? In an actual compound movement. So before we even say, right, yeah, it'd be better with drugs, it's like, are we putting in enough time and effort? Have we given it enough time? Are we doing the right things in order to obtain the result? And what I would say is that, you know, more people can stand to do isolation work for your side deltoid, doing lateral raises, and then also face pulls for that external rotation for the rear deltoid, as well as maybe a little bit more isolation work. So building a 3D deltoid takes intelligent, consistent effort. I'm using, I'm saying, you know, 3D deltoids. I mean really an impressive uh, set of delts and traps. Takes intelligent, consistent effort. We can't just always use this excuse like, yeah, well, it's better if you do this, so fuck it. I'm just gonna stick to doing, you know, a couple movements and call it a day. If you put in the time and the effort, it will happen. Build it and it will come. It all sounds really hard. Well, to be honest with you, if you wanna be natural, it's gonna be harder because you gotta put in that time and effort. You gotta make sure you're in it for the long haul. I know I've, I get comments all the time from fans, right? Oh man, this is not growing, what should I do? And my first question is just like, man, how long have you been training? I usually hear straight up like less than 18 months. I look like a fat sack of shit after 18 months of lifting. I didn't even look like I lifted. I it still don't look like I lift. I mean, we're forever small here, so <laughs> it takes, I'm gonna use that same word, same phrase, time and effort, right? Smart work. You have to do isolation work for that side delt, for that rear deltoid, in order to build them. And after doing this for several years, then we could take a look at our genetics, we could take a look at the growth, and go from there. But I think all of us, can build impressive deltoids. I'm not saying 3D necessarily, maybe 2D, 2D and a half, something like that, but proportional to our physique, right, to our symmetry of our body, we can build impressive deltoids. And that's the final thing I will say when it comes to this topic, is that symmetry and proportion are very important, right? If you're not actually doing work for your side deltoid, for your rear deltoid, then maybe like me, at first your chest takes over, and so it really takes that tension away, and it makes your delts look smaller. So symmetry and proportion will help reveal the aesthetics that lie underneath your body, right? What you really got going on. Guys, that's the video. Train hard, train consistently, be smart about it. If you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. I'm talking to you, thanks so much for watching, and I'll be seeing all you guys. 3D, 2D, even 1D in that next video.